All right, so we've been looking around. Uh, we're just gonna start randomly going through some boxes to try to see if any of this stuff is Pokemon, so. So this is sports stuff. And this one, I see Pokemon deck boxes. Ooh, all right, let's pull that. So let's let's pull that. All right. do that. So I was 100% wrong, because I'm the one that led us to, like, let's go to that side, so. Um, ooh, that's right here. Oh, you can that box. Yeah, it's light, so this isn't like a ton of stuff. Yeah, and so just so just as a precursor, like me and AJ are a little bit angry because back in the day we had like every first edition set for a while, uh, and then when all that stuff went downhill, our parents actually forced us to sell our first edition set. So we don't have a first edition Ooh. base set anymore, but we should have like our duplicates and triplicates if we had any. Um, and so we were stupid kids as well because we were kids. And so our base set was were things that we just kind of like threw in our binders. And ever since that, so jungle and on, everything was... Pristine. Yeah. Like, we spent a lot of time looking in like Gem Mint, um, Gem Mint 9, 10 things. But base set, we had in a binder that was like a full circle ring. It wasn't even yeah. a D ring. And then, so there were dents in... If you remember, Charizard is card... Is it's it, number four. Yeah, it's four. So we four... had two of them, and I used them... In my deck, first of all. Yeah, so they're in his decks because he loved... Uh, his favorite Pokemon is Charmander, so Charizard was obviously no. in some... I my favorite was Squirtle, and I wanted oh. Blastoise, but Charizard's seemed more powerful oh. in the game. So I ran a deck with three Charizards, two yeah. of them first editions. Two first editions. Um, so we might still have... I think we have one first edition laying around somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's, that's, qu that's questionable. But let's see what we got in here. Um, so what I like... Right away, as I see a Clefable in the top loader, so I think this is a complete first edition jungle set. Yeah, that's could be good. So uh, towards the, t I don't know, we we're not organized here. So let's see what we have here. Oh. So here's base set, uh, Bulpix, Charmeleon, and then we've got some random jungle stuff. I don't know why these are. So this was an error. Yeah, that sh that was supposed it to be have a been foil hollow. Yeah, uh, and the first print I think so was. So this is unlimited. Yeah. So I don't. This so was... actually, all these things probably have an error or something on yeah. them. Oh, this it, it, this is missing the uh, the the set symbol. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then and this one is, is too. Also, that is this also. This one is also. And then these are our D edition butterflies. Yeah, let me see if I can get can you in. See that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so I mean, so there was a, a, a in the first run of the Butterfreeze. Oh, square cut uh, base set. Oh, interesting. You want to talk about the D edition Butterfreeze? Uh, yeah, so the D edition Butterfreeze, it was just it was just a, uh, a misprint, right? On the stamp of the first edition, it did it wasn't a clean one, so everybody's like, oh, look, it's a D, so it's called the D edition Butterfree. Um, totally forgot about the square cuts. Uh, I don't even remember how those came about. I don't remember. Neither do I. And I think that we bought these separately. Like, we never pulled any of these from packs. I don't think so either. So, this, is um, this is a Magneton. Why is this here? I don't know. Another square cut Mewtwo Ninetales. And then... I don't, I don't know the error here. I don't either. And then this was... Um, I think the number is off. Oh, you're right. You might be right. I can't remember. There was something special about yeah. that. Yeah, so this is 5 out of 82. Oh, because the, the hollows were a number, and then the non-hollows were a different the number. number. Yeah, so the non-hollows. So this is the yeah, hollow yeah. number. Yeah, yeah. And then a sealed... Ooh, so sealed, I think these are all sealed, sealed first edition fossil, fossil packs. packs. So we've got... How many of these do we have? I'm going to put these down. Careful with those. They're, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 first edition sealed fossil packs here. Yeah, so, so here. Yeah, fix that. Yeah, fix I'll, that I'll fix that. Those are garbage. Yeah, let's pull these out over here. All right, so let's see. Oh, this seems to just. I think this is just all of our Japanese cards. Yeah, so like when we played initially, I think we bought a lot of Japanese cards too, just because uh, we thought it was cool. I don't think there's anything else special about that. Empty. I think we use it as just Empty. filler and dividers. So yes. And then here we go with our first edition jungle. Why set. is this empty? empty? I don't know. So one, yeah. So here's Fable. Got our Electrode. Our Flareon. Jolteon. Kangaskhan. Mister Mime. Nidoqueen, Queen. Pidgeot. Pinsir, 
Scyther Snorlax. I think I saw this on eBay was quite a bit of money these days. Really? So, yeah, I don't know how. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how much this stuff is worth, actually. Vaporeon, Venomoth, Victory Bell, Vileplume, Wigglytuff. Yeah, so back, so like when we got to Jungle, we spent a lot of time like putting together the set. And once we had a set that was like pretty minty, um, we would not play with that set at all. We would top load them, sleeve the other ones, other cards in the set, and just leave them in this box, right? And again, there's no first edition set, which yeah, is pretty upsetting to me, but uh, so, that's all going to be Jungle, right? Yeah, so this is also something interesting. This was the base set picture on the first edition electrodes. So I think we have that other electrode because it was a non-foil oh, yeah, version because yeah. there wasn't a first, a first edition, edition yeah, version. Yeah, 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 And then, yeah, these are just the non-hollow versions. Um, Is that a normal Butterfree? Yeah, I think it's so. D. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's normal. normal, yeah. So yeah, I think it feels, so there's other stuff that I know that I have actually up in my bedroom that's like air. I have uh, like the Red Cheek Pikachu, Red Cheek E3 Pikachu. We have some, we have stuff scattered about the house, so. Was that a Hitmonchan back there? Yeah, I think we... So I think this is Fossil. I'm just getting ahead of ourselves. So this is Fossil. Jungle, Fossil. And then this is some base set stuff that we still have. Oh, no. All right. So let's see. Do, do we want to Do we want to just fast forward to base set? Uh, and then we can do Fossil later? Yeah, that's fine. All right. So we just repositioned so we can get a better shot. I'm going to try to get uh, better shots of these cards. It's vi uh, vertical video. So we'll see. So we haven't gone ahead yet. We haven't seen what we have and what we don't have. Yeah, so, so I'm just going to flip past the fossil. And just pull the whole stack. let's see what we yeah. got here. So this is... Oh, this is... Oh, this isn't base set. This is base set two. No! <laughs> um, damn it. All right, now I'm going to skip ahead. So here we were looking at fossil. This is... What is this? Rocket? Rocket. Rocket. Here you can go through it. Yeah. yeah. So we got Rocket. And if you guys are interested, we can go through these more in more detail. Uh, yeah, Gym, yeah, Gym Leaders 1 and I think Gym Leaders 2 is going to be back here. Yeah, That's this is right. Gym Leaders 2. Then we've got... Is that Neo? No. Neo's probably not. Yeah, Neo. Okay. And then that is... So these are our complete sets um that we held on to that we held on to maybe this stuff you know what i think so i'm looking at this stuff and this is other like special promo stuff like i see a chinese new year pikachu i think in here oh this is, an, is this another set um, oh it's like a sign card would we have gotten that signed by i don't, I don't remember these might have just been like pokemon people was it, yeah the fake card pojo card huh Oh, here's um, yeah. our 3D Pikachu promo from uh, Jungle. This was inserted into packs on accident. They were supposed to just be promos, but you can tell these were pulled from Jungle set by the first edition mark because okay. the promos did not have first edition. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, this is a regular one. Okay. And then we have a bunch of regular ones. Yeah, they came out a while after, so... This is a uh, oh Pokemon movie Electabuzz. First movie, yeah. So we probably have the whole set here. Yeah. Electabuzz, like Electabuzz, Electabuzz Mewtwo, Pikachu, some sealed ones, Dragonite. Uh, Dragonite. I keep this shit in the frame. Yeah, just more promos. Yeah, so this is probably all, all of our promos. I think that we, we have like a million Mews. Yeah, I mean, they mass produced the Mew. Like the like foil crazy. Mew. I don't remember how you got that. Some Meowth. I don't know what that's from. Yeah. Eevee. I think a lot of this stuff was from like Pokemon League too. Yeah. This was from something. That was from a magazine. I feel like that one was super rare. Yeah. I At least back in the day. So a lot of the things that are like expensive today aren't necessarily, or like what we thought was super rare back in the day was, but may not be anymore. Because of... This at one point was super rare, but then became not rare. Yeah, cool toy. Cool toy, man. Cory gun. Yeah, yeah more, I think there's more league promos if we have that many of them. Yeah. Legendary bird promos. Yeah, so we we didn't open some because you could like you could push the card up from the other one and see what the actual card Your was. Your name's birthday Pikachu. Yeah. 
Got a ton of those. Flying Pikachu. Pokemon Snap, Snap Pikachu, Pikachu, I think. Yeah. yeah. Then we get to the next movie. And you can tell, like, as, <laughs> you know, things, um, as we get later here, like, we did keep all this sealed stuff because we did eventually turn into, uh, primarily collectors. Yeah, this is pre-release Dark Guardians. Yeah, pre-release cards. Pre-release Clefable. Yeah. Those were gotten through the... Aerodactyl. The League. The League, yeah. Of Wizards of the Coast, first edition. Yeah, that was in the magazine, I think. Yeah, and yeah. Kabuto, yeah. War Turtle, and then yeah, some Team Rocket, Team Rocket uh, New Year's promos. More Wizards of the Coast. Oh, these were fun. These were from uh, like a fruit roll-up. Was it? Do you remember that? No, yeah. I don't remember. So that. we had Mom get us all these boxes of fruit roll-ups because you could either get just like random commons or a gold bordered meowth. So we got a couple of those. What is this? It's just a squirrel. Can't be just a normal squirrel. This is a regular E3, E3 Pikachu. Pikachu. Yeah. I think these are just gonna uh, game yeah, yeah. yeah, that is it's more or less it. Pretty much it. Uh, ticket stubs. Which one is that? Uh, the first movie, yeah. 1999. So yeah, over uh, 20 years ago. All right, what do we think is in here? Oh, oh nothing. nothing. Those are probably empty boxes. Empty boxes. We do have, so we do have a deck box somewhere, or like a box of deck boxes, I think, that have like, just, oh, damn. just some Neo. Some random sets. Yeah. We'll back here. Like, we obviously didn't give a crap about this stuff. Oh, these might just be like commons from those sets. Oh shit. That was my mail. Hopefully it's not, nothing was worth a lot there. Alright, so no first edition base set stuff. We've gotta have a one row or something. But uh Alright. So what we didn't do, I think that there was a five row underneath. That looks like an old box. Yeah, so we'll let's go through that now. Just open it and see if there's anything. If there is, we'll uh we'll do what we did. These again. Ooh, it looks like Pokemon. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. It, it kind of looks like commons to me, but uh, I guess we'll see. Yeah. So that was the box I was expecting to find. Uh, that was the one that I remembered going through in college. Yeah, and that that's also the box I was hoping to find. You know, I, I thought that that box would be the money box that had all of our first edition sets, which it did, but unfortunately there was no first edition base set and very little base set at all. Yeah, and I remember when I was going through that box back in college, I was looking for those D edition Butterfreeze and the non hollow uh, Error Dark Dragonite. So definitely found like a lot of cool stuff in there. Yeah. So what we think we're going to do in our very next video is uh, go through in depth a portion of that box that we just found. Uh, if you'd like to see a specific set or a specific set of promos or the error cards, please leave a comment below. Also, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.